I'm Seamus Byrne for CNAD here at Computex 2015 in Taipei. And we've just been in the session with Intel on the details behind the new Thunderbolt 3 standard. The new standard, excitingly, is actually unifying onto the USB Type-C port. That's the new slim reversible port that everybody's been very excited about with USB. So seeing Thunderbolt now unify onto that standard means we will see one single port for all of our needs. Once somebody chooses to make their port Thunderbolt, it will support the full specification of USB 3.1, it will support DisplayPort, and support PCI Express Generation 3, as well as Thunderbolt. So it basically makes a Thunderbolt port the one port to truly rule them all. When we think about real-world usage, that means two 4K monitors could be used at once. It also means full 10 gigabit Ethernet. It means charging over this port as well, up to 100 watts for notebook charging, as well as 15 watts of bus power support. So everything that people want out of the USB standard, they will still be able to get through this new updated port and it will all just work seamlessly that way. Now, there will also be cheaper Thunderbolt cables available this time around. That's often been a big issue with Thunderbolt in the past, but there will be, the option essentially is a passive cable, which will basically be any USB-C cable, uh, but this will mean Thunderbolt will run at a slightly slower speed of 20 gigabits per second, which is still twice as fast as USB. So these kinds of options, I think, will make this new Thunderbolt work a lot better for most people, and hopefully it will see wider manufacturer adoption into actual devices, PCs, notebooks, maybe even some of the smaller devices as well. But that's the big news. You can read all the rest of the details in the story on CNET.com.